Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a nail set using these items that Born Pretty has sent over to me. If you are interested to see what I come up with, then keep on watching. All right, so this is all the stuff that they had sent to me and I really want to create a nail set using every single thing that they had sent over. So I'm just gonna go one by one through everything and see what it is. All right, so this first thing that they've sent to me is a rubber base gel, which is perfect because we can use this to attach our nails. Second, they have sent over this beautiful brown nude color. And it's so pretty. So this is the only gel color that's in here. So it's going to be definitely a nail look with this nail color. And it's so perfect for fall. What a beautiful chocolate brown color. Love that. All right, and the next thing is this 5D solid gel. It's one of those specialty gels. And that one's just a clear with some black specks on it. So that's going to be super interesting to see what I can come up with so we can use this. Next, there is some rhinestone glue gel, which definitely will mean that we are going to be doing some gems for today's look. I feel like I haven't used gems and rhinestones in so long. I'm super excited to see what this looks like. I feel like it might be a little bit of like a solid gel. So I expected this to be more of like a solid gel, but it's not. It's just a nice gel for gems. So we're definitely going to try this out. And last but not least, they did send me a metallic drawing gel in Alchemist. I do have this exact same one and I use it all the time. It's one of my favorite items that I have gotten from Born Pretty. So I'm going to use my own for that so I don't have to open up a new one. For my nails, I am going to go in with the Born Pretty nail tips and glue set that they had sent to me previously. So I'm going to use this for my nails. And here I have all my nail sizes sized out. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and prep my nails and then we will use our rubber base gel to apply them. So I did go ahead and put one coat of peel off base coat on my nails. And next I'm just going to open this up. This is from their Pro collection. And it comes in this super nice luxe packaging that just slides out. And then it has this really pretty matte bottle. Obsessed with this packaging. It also has some instructions written on the inside, but I am going to be using this as my extend gel. I also have my gooseneck lamp on the side, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. This is a super thin thick gel which is going to be amazing if you want to like encapsulate on your natural nails this type of product would have helped me so much when i was first starting out and trying to encapsulate things um, on my natural nails this is just one of those perfect products that would have just added enough strength and i could have used it as a builder gel as well which is what the beauty is about this of this product I'm just grabbing the first nail and I'm going to put this at the bottom and use it to apply my nails. All right, so I just went in and filed and shaped them off camera. And next we're ready for the nail design. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is get some alcohol and wipe my nails so they are free of any dust, but this might also just make them a little bit cloudy, but that's okay since we are going to be covering our nails with gel polish, so I'm also going to clean underneath them just so I don't have any dust, but that can sometimes leave a 
cloudy finish but like I said, we'll just ignore that if it does happen, just because we are going to be painting on top. So the only color I have from them this time is this one right here, which is a nice chocolatey brown color. And I am going to use this color on all of my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two coats of this solid, brown color on all of my nails. As you can see and tell, this gel polish is so beautifully pigmented, not streaky at all. Honestly, I could probably get away with just doing one coat. Look how nice and even that is. I love this color. I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat to all of the nails and we'll see how they look and then we will decide if we want to do a second coat or not. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with this color. If you are wondering, this color is Born Pretty number 58 in this like black bottle. It is gorgeous. The perfect chocolate brown color for fall. I'm obsessed and I'm so excited to see what I come up with for this nail design. And of course we want to use the rhinestone glue gel. So I was just digging around and I found these really pretty like frame type of gems in my collection so i'm going to go ahead go through them and see if i can find one that i feel like is going to look pretty with this nail color i'm thinking of getting something with more of a round frame not something rectangular so i want to get something round like this but i want the round part to be Bigger, so I'm not too sure if I have anything like that. Ooh, this might be perfect. Yes. Okay, I think I got the perfect one, I believe. Um, yeah. Oh. Ooh, that one's really... Wait, they're the same. Okay. I think this is going to be the perfect little charm or little gem rhinestone frame thing that we can put on our nails and I think it's gonna look so pretty just maybe on the middle nail and it's this gold color oh this might be too big let me take a look I feel like I'm all over the place oh no that is perfect I love that okay so the plan is to take this as my inspiration and I'm going to use that gold chrome gel. I'm also going to be using the UV eggshell and I'm hoping we can get like a 3D globe looking look. It makes sense in my head. I just need to make sure that I'm able to put it onto my nails. All right, so the first thing I'm going to take is the rhinestone glue gel and I'm going to put that all over the nail first and to do that i think i'm just going to use like a regular brush all right so i'm going to take that and put it right around like the middle and as you can see it's quite thick so it's actually perfect because it's really going to make our gems last hopefully and I am putting quite a big gem, so it's really going to put this nail glue to test. And I love the formula of it. It's quite thick, so I can actually control it and put it where I want it to be. And I'm just going to take a random top coat. This is the one from Uhuhu. I got this in like a poly gel kit and it's nice and glossy. So I'm just going to use that. And I'm just going to put a layer of this top coat on top of that glue gel, like the rhinestone glue gel, just so I have a top coat on there. So I don't have to try to top coat around the gem. And I'm just going to kind of place it right here. I think that's the middle. Yeah. 
Ooh, I already love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a cure before it slips and slides. And honestly, this rhinestone glue gel is doing such a good job at holding my gem down, like my rhinestone big frame down. Like it's not slipping, sliding. That means that it's thick enough to hold. Okay, so I have it cured and I think this frame was such a perfect choice to go for with this nail color. I think it just looks so pretty. Next, I'm thinking to go in with the metallic drawing gel in Alchemist. But I already own one, so I'm just going to use my own instead of opening the new one. And I think I'm going to maybe make some squiggly-ish lines inside of the frame first with this chrome gel. You've probably seen me use this gel, like this chrome gel, a few times now because I use it that often. I use it a lot. My clients also love this. So definitely do recommend getting yourself some of these gel chrome paints. It's so nice and you can get really nice like gold chrome or silver chrome accents. If you are ever interested in purchasing any of the Born Pretty products that I talk about, you can definitely use the code I know she does nails for 10% off of the Born Pretty website. And with these gold chrome gels, you are supposed to mix them just so all of that chrome pigment or powder or, or whatever makes this substance gets incorporated with each other. And as you can see, it turns into this beautiful gold chrome mixture. All right, so for my design, I'm just gonna grab a very thin little brush. And I want to make leaves in it, but I'm not too sure that they're gonna show up. But I'm going to try just so it goes with whatever I have in mind. Oh, actually, this brush is so thin, I think I might be able to make some leaves. I'm not gonna make this super neat or detailed because I do want to go in with that eggshell gel and see if we can maybe put a little bit on top to make it 3D. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that when I'm happy, which I think I'm happy with how that looks, super minimal. Okay, next I'm just gonna go into the 5D solid gel in eggshell, and I'm going to use this as our little, I don't even know what to, like I just want it 3D. So I'm gonna squeeze this out and hopefully it comes out quite smooth. And if it doesn't, I think I can use some alcohol with this and smooth it down. Okay. And as you can obviously see, this is not leveling out the way I expected it to level out. So I think I might have to go in here with some alcohol to smooth everything out or maybe I can just work this around. All right, it's pretty much smoothed out but I do think I'm gonna have to go in here with some alcohol to really smooth it out. Yeah, that worked really well. Okay, that's working really well. So I think I'm just going to shape it up with ooh, some alcohol. Okay, so I'm super happy with how this looks and how it's turned out. So I'm gonna leave that nail alone for a second and I'm going to continue with the rest and then we'll come back to that and see if we want to add anything else. So I'm gonna continue doing some leaves.
Okay, that's what they look like so far and I love it. I think it looks super vintagey, and I really like this little thing that we've done here. But I do want to probably go into the middle finger and make maybe a few more of these leaves. And then maybe we'll add one at the bottom where it's kind of coming out into here. And let's try to make a continuation. All right, so that's what they look like so far. I think this is so pretty and it's definitely something a lot more different than I would usually do, but I'm not mad at it. I think it looks really cool and very unique. And we have like a little custom gem thing going on right here. Next, I'm just going to take the glossy top coat once again, and I'm going to top coat the nails. And as you can see, it, they are so nice. I love this chrome gel so much because you can get like gold accents like this, and it's so much easier to do. And lastly, I'm just going to put some top coat on top of this right here just to get it nice and glossy as well all right everyone and this is what i came up with using all of these products that were sent over to me from born pretty i've used each and every single one of these items that they've sent to create a super nice and unique full vintagey nail look. If you want to recreate this look or buy any of these products, you can use my link down in the description below or Anosh Does Nails to get 10% off of their website. I think they turn out so cute. All that's left to do is just apply some cuticle oil to them. All right, and that is all for this video. I'm super happy with how these turned out. This is like the perfect fall-inspired vintage -y nail look. If you're interested to see more videos like this, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to hit the thumbs up button while you are at it. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye.